everybody. I'm so happy to see you again. I missed you. It's Monday and I'm back to tell you some more stories and look who's here to say hi. Boo's missed you too, right Boo? Hey Boo, you can go play. So I asked your family to get have you get some spoons ready because we're going to do something with those spoons again today. So if you have them, put them down. If you don't, you can have your family pause the video and then come back when you have them. In the meantime, I'm going to tell you a couple of stories. The first story is just to introduce you to these characters because they're going to be in another story today. This is horse and cat and dog and pig and duck. And this story is called Clip Clop. And it goes like this. Once upon a time, Mr. Horse was sitting all by himself and he asked his animal friends if they wanted to have a ride. Who wants a ride, said Mr. Horse. I do, I do, said the cat. Well. Climb aboard then, said the horse. So the kitty cat jumped on the horse's back and the horse said, clip, clop, clippity, clop, clip, clop, clippity, clop. Anybody else want to ride? I do, I do, said the dog. Well, get on up then, said the horse. And the dog jumped on the horse's back and the horse went clip, clop, clippity, clop, clip, clop, clippity, clop. Anybody else want to ride, said the horse. Me, me, I want to ride, said the pig. Get on up then, said the horse. And the pig jumped on too. And the horse went clip, clop, clippity, clop, clip, clop, clippity, clop. Who was left? You're right, just the duck. So the horse said, anybody else want to ride? Jump on now. And the duck said, quack, quack, me, me, me. And quickly the duck grabbed onto the horse's tail. And the horse went clip, clop, clippity, clop, clip, clop. Clippity clop, and the animals said together, faster, faster, clip clop, clippity clop, faster, faster, clip clop, clippity clop, clip clop, clip, clippity clop, and the male animal said, whoa, we're falling off. So the horse said, whoa, halt, and he came to a stop, and when he did, the kitty went flying through the air and landed in the haystack, and the doggy went flying through the air and landed in the haystack and the piggy went flying through the air and landed in the haystack and the duck went quack, 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 and landed in the haystack and the horse said oh dear oh dear oh dearie me are you guys all right and they all said that was fun horse can we do it again get on up then said the horse and the cat and the dog and the pig and the duck all climbed aboard for another fun ride, the end. Now, the reason I told you that story today was because we're gonna have another story with those same animal characters in it. But this story is about a boat ride and it's called Splish Splash. Who wants a ride in my little boat, said Mr. Horse. We do, please, said the cat and the dog and the pig and the duck. Mr. Horse rowed out to sea. Splish, splash, go the oars. Can we have a turn, please, Mr. Horse? Asked the cat and the dog and the pig and the duck. Oh my, are they going to row the boat? Let's see if they do. That's a good idea, said Mr. Horse. My arms were getting very tired, but the waves got bigger. Splish, splash. Oh my. And bigger. Splish, splash. Oh my, look at that wave coming over their heads. And even bigger. Splash. What do you think will happen next? What do you think is going to happen? Oh, the cat and the dog and the pig and the duck fell out of the little boat into the water. Splish, splash, splash. They went flying kind of like they did off the horse. Into the deep blue sea. But where, oh where is Mr. Horse? I see the duck and the dog and the pig and the cat. Help, 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 cried the cat and the dog and the pig and the duck. Here I am, said Mr. Horse. Whew, I'm glad he's okay. Hold on tight. 
Splish, splash went the waves. Splish, splash, splosh. Back to the beach. Again, again, cried the cat and the dog and the pig and the duck. That was fun. Oh, come on then, laughed Mr. Horse. Off we go again. Splish, splash, splosh. Those animals like it when it gets exciting. They like to fall off the horse. They like to fall out of the boat because they know they'll be safe when they're all together. So that's a fun story about rowing their boat. But here's another fun story about rowing a boat. But this one's kind of tricky because somebody is going to sink this boat and it's not who you think. It's called who sank the boat. It's a little rowboat right there. Beside the sea on Mr. Pfeiffer's place, there lived a cow and a donkey and a sheep and a pig and a tiny little mouse. They all lived together happily. They were very good friends and one warm sunny morning for no particular reason, they decided to go for a row in the bay. Do you know who sank the boat? Hmm. Was it the cow? Who almost fell in when she tilted the boat and made such a din. Do you think the cow sank the boat? Maybe she looked pretty big for that little boat. No, it wasn't the cow who almost fell in. Who else do you think could have sunk that boat? Let's wait and see. Was it the donkey who balanced her weight and yelled, I'll get in the bow before it's too late. I don't know, let's see if it is. Could have been. No, it wasn't the donkey who balanced her weight. Do you know who might have sunk the boat? Let's see. Was it the pig, as soft as butter, who stepped in the side and caused such a flutter? Hmm. I don't know. No, it wasn't the pig as soft as butter. Who sank the boat? I don't know. Who was left? Do you remember? The sheep. Could it be the sheep? Was it the sheep who knew where to sit to level the boat? Do you think she was it? I don't know. Do you think the sheep sank the boat? Let's find out. No, it wasn't the sheep who knew where to sit. Do you know who sank the boat? Hmm, let's see. The cow is there, the pig is there, the sheep is there, the donkey is there, and the boat didn't sink. Only one animal's left. Do you remember who that was? The little mouse. The last one in, lightest of all. Could it be him? Do you think it's the mouse that sank the boat? Let's see. Oh my gosh, you do know who sank the boat. It was the mouse. That was just the tipping point, enough for that boat to go in the water. Out came the wet cow and the wet donkey and the wet pig and the wet sheep and the little tiny mouse. They said, I guess we'll have to try with a bigger boat or another day. And they went home. The end. But before we're done for the day, Get out your spoons or your forks or whatever big utensil you have because we are gonna get in our own boat. And we're gonna sing a song called Row, Row, Row Your Boat. And it goes like this. So hold on to your oars because we're gonna row like this. So move your body forward and move your body back and move your body forward and move your body back. And the whole time, move your arms like you're rowing your boat like this. And it goes like this. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream, merrily, 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 life is but a dream. You row and you row and you stop. You row and you row and you stop. You row and 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 you stop. Now, we're going to be rowing our boat and the water is very calm. It's a beautiful day. So we just can row medium size. Are you ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. <gasps> but suddenly, it's cloudy. 
I think it's gonna rain and the water is getting a little choppy. So we're gonna have to really chop into those with our oars like that to help us row. Are you ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. You row and you row and you stop. You row and you row and you stop. You row and 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 you stop. Now the waves are big, like in the Splish Splash book with the animals. We're going to have to row really fast to get back to shore before the storm hits. Are you ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. You row and you row and you stop. You row and you row and you stop. You row and 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 you stop. The wind blew the clouds away. Phew, I'm so glad we didn't get wet. Let's just row back on our regular speed because my arms are tired. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Can you clap for yourselves with your sticks? Yay! That was fun. Thanks for having stories with me today. Tomorrow we'll do something else fun. Bye-bye.